the Safest Houses from Matt Kelly. You might recognise that voice, of course, after you've heard this on the radio. On Parliament Street by See, the I- <laughs> answer me. So it's you. It is me indeed. There you are. And so- I get a lot of feedback about that advert, actually. <laughs> it's this bit here. It's the Mitre Hotel. That bit, that it, gets bit, people, yeah. it gets people it gets stuck in their head, basically. Well, and you then- know, that's, that's what it's all about, radio advertising. So many people have said to me, who's that? And I said, ah, oh, well, you know. Hang on, it's the bit at the end as well. It's the laugh. Here we go. And it's the Mitre Hotel. hotel. Hey, <laughs> you know what's funny about that? Somebody <laughs> listening to it and said, "Oh, I like I like the Mitre advert. Who's who does the female voice at the end?" <laughs> It's like, oh, that'll be Mr. Carl Jockin, the landlord of the yes. market. <laughs> <laughs> I know Carl well because I know his dad, Jeff. Absolutely. Very well. and, uh, yeah, we Carl did that. We little... recorded it in the schooner for extra authenticity. Did, I noticed mm. that. It was the ambiance in there. Absolutely. It made the all, the difference. all the difference. All the difference. He was demonstrating. I met him in the street in Ramsey, actually. I'm a Ramseyite now, whatever you call it. Right. Ramsayarian, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, he, and he was like, and I said, oh, who was the girl singing? And he was like, that was me. And then, like, just in the middle of the street, was singing the jingle a few times, trying to get more punters in, you see. <laughs> Should be outside guiding people in. It, it was. <laughs> it well, works. David, you're an organist as well. That's I'm playing on that, actually. Oh, what? Is yeah, that you? Is it? Right, oh, yeah. is it? Yeah. And, and where did, which church organ did you record that on then? Oh, well, that was actually, um, that was Mark Cle- one of Mark Cleeters. Yeah, yeah it's it? a Hammond that organ. Fantastic. Oh, is it? That, um, yeah, yeah. Hammond organ that used to belong to David McLean yeah. and was kind of gifted to uh, Phil Reynolds along the way yeah. and then gifted to Mark Cleeter. Kind of, it. I think the three of them still own it between them, but it's just yeah. kind of, who has space for this yes. enormous? Yeah. And Mark has space. So, uh Basically, they, they use that. I was circling around on eBay the other day, and I've forgotten the name of it temporarily now. Um, uh, I was looking at so one of those uh, machines they used to play in the 60s that had reels of tape. Uh, oh, yeah, the Mellotron. Uh, the Mellotron. Yes. Fantastic. And I thought, I'm, I fancy buying a Mellotron. And then Mark Tiley, who's a bit of a muso, uh, uh, plays with stalking heads on the station. Of course, yeah, we know uh, You know Mark. Uh, he said, don't touch one with the barge pole. Really? Yeah, so a nightmare. Uh, it, it, when when the tape stretches, you've added. Yes, yeah. yeah. All different loops of tape. It's a mad thing. <laughs> it's all like bizarre. different, t- like sounds of flutes or yeah. brass or yeah. things, and, like strawberry fields. Yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what they're played in on in, in, yeah. in Abbey Road. Yeah, I just uh, stick to the emulated versions these days. Yeah, it's not as bad. Do yeah. you know? It, I mean, is it is it good now? Is the software good now that to 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 emulate? Um, it's quite reasonable. I mean, I, I well, I I play. So one thing I invested in a couple of years back was a Nord, and mainly for reasons like you've just said. So they they have a whole suite of Mellotron sounds, yeah, yeah. you know, and it's a lot. And you know, if it's if it's not prominent within a track, I think it's easy to you know to use that and get a similar effect. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're good. You're going to play something else live then? You've been twiddling around. Yeah, here, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll want to do a few reels, shall we? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll so do this, and we're going to put it on uh, the uh, Manx Radio portal as well for Manx Music Day because. Uh, uh, we were going to uh, live um, film this one earlier on, but it didn't quite work out. So we're going to do it now. All right. Uh, go, by the way, look for Manx Music Day on the Manx Radio Facebook page, and you'll find a load of details on there of what's coming up throughout the day. So we've got uh, Matt Kelly and David Kilgallen. I've no idea what you're going to do, and I'm not sure if you have either. But hey, no, let's no, let's no, just uh, let, let's just happen. rock on. Shall we see what happens? One, two, three. <laughs> 